Right guys, I've done a video not too long ago uh, comparing the IM350 uh, nail gun from Pazload against the DeWalt uh, first fix nail gun. Uh, I'll leave a link either there or there. Um, I have been using this gun for probably a year now and there is a couple of things that I, I wanted to sort of change on it, you know, to make it better. Uh, I, did, I did speak about that in the last video. Um, so basically after a year of use, I've upgraded to the, the newest pass load. Uh, this is the 360XI. So again, it's a first fix nail gun, very similar to the older version, uh, but there are certain changes that make the gun just so much better in my opinion. So we'll grab each now side by side. I'll get a closer up view and I'll show you show you the differences. Okay, well, we'll run through each gun now. Right guys, so this is the IM350 Plus, the Impulse version, and this is the IM360XI. First fixed nail guns from Pazload. Now the first thing to talk about is the, the cases. You know, the, the both come in substantial cases. This is a better case. This is the newer case uh, for the, the 360XI. It's just that bit more robust. The clips are better. Um, it is a bit larger, but it's a, it's a better case in my opinion. I mean, it's pretty insignificant, but that's the first thing. Right, so here's the IM350 Plus. Now, if you watched my last video comparing this to the DeWalt, uh, I did pick up on a couple of things that I thought could be improved. Um, you know, one thing I mentioned on this was there's no indicator for the gas. You know, this is a, a gas nail gun. It's operated with gas and a battery. Um, you know, you could be out in the field, you know, nailing away, and then it just sort of starts mucking up, you know. Um, and nine times out of ten, that was because the gas was running low. But because you've got no indicator on, you just didn't know. You didn't know whether it was that. The gas was maybe freezing or, you know, there was some other... The gun was deemed clean or whatever, so there was a bit of guesswork involved. Um, so some sort of gas indicator would have been a good thing. Same with the battery. I mentioned in the last video, there's no indicator on the battery. To find out how much battery life you've got on, it would be good to have some sort of indicator. Um, you know, with the 360XI, it's as if Pazload were listening to me, obviously not. But, you know, they've obviously listened to, you know, tradesmen out there, um, you know, done a bit of development and came up with the, the 360XI. Okay, so to illustrate those two points, um, this is the 350, I'll just pick up the 360XI now. So here's the XI, um, I'll just, I'm going to stick the battery in now, it just clicks in like that. Straight away you can see the indicator, the four lights for the battery and there's also an indicator for the gas. Now, to me that's that's an excellent feature. You know that just combats the two you know flaws of the old gun in my opinion straight away. So that that is excellent. I'm um, just pointing that out. Okay so another difference with the guns is with the 350, the gas is actually loaded in the back. You can see in the back there. And um, this, it could be a little bit fiddly, you know, if your hands are quite cold when you're out. Um, I mean, it's not, not too big a deal. Just put the gas in and then clip this, but this clip could be a bit of a pain sometimes. That's it now. <laughs> it takes a bit of fiddling about sometimes, but that's the gas in. With the 360i, it's hugely improved, I think. The gas position is actually on the side, which helps the balance of the gun. And there's a simple eject button here, so you push that and the gas comes flying out. <laughs> so to insert the gas, um, this is a Series I gas, so it's a different design than the other gas. Um, but basically you just push it in like that, click it in and that's it. You can see the indicators there. So that's a lot better, I think. Uh, the downside with this gas is, I'll just, I'll show you now. Right, so the downside with the gas is you can only, you know, it's got such a design at the moment that you can only use Pazload gas. Um, so you, you have to buy the, the actual Series I Pazload gas. With the IM350, you can buy aftermarket gas. Um, I mean, I'm not affiliated to Firma Hold, but I use their nails. Because uh, they are so much, you know, half the price of Pazload nails. 
So I normally use this gas with the, the other nails, aftermarket nails, but the 360, you have to use this gas, which is roughly double the price of, you know, aftermarket sort of gas. The, the positive thing with that is though, you know, you are paying a bit more for the genuine Pazload gas, but it does actually lubricate the gun. Uh, I have had problems using aftermarket after gas, and I have had problems, you know, with the piston sticking a little bit, so I've had to oil it now and again. And I think that's down to using the, the cheaper gas. So, you know, for five pounds more or whatever, it's it's probably a good thing that you're, you're using the Pazload gas. So I just thought I would point that out. Yeah, so another thing, when I was reading about this gun, it, it does state in the literature that you have to use the round-headed nails, you know, the full head uh, nails from Pazload. They cost an absolute fortune, you know. I, I tend to use these aftermarket nails, you know, clipped nails with IM350, and they, they work fine, you know. Hot dip galvanised for fencing, perfect. Um, but I was on some forums and stuff, and a lot of guys do use this gun with the clip nails. Um, it works fine, you know, I've, I've fired a good few nails through it and it's never had an issue. So don't let that put you off. You can use clipped head nails uh, with this gun. Uh, both guns, you know, use all 51mm right up to 90mm. Both guns take the same size of nails. Um, with this gun you can uh, fire the, I think it's the, the screw nails or whatever. I don't, I don't, I'm not too clued up about those. I, don't, I wouldn't use them, but um, so there are more options with the, the 360XI. On the subject of nails, for loading the guns, they are slightly different as well. The 350, you can pull the clip all the way down, stick the nails in, and then put the clip back up. With the 360, you can actually bypass that. I'll show you that now. So with the 360, you can actually pull the clip down. Right, now you can leave it in position, sorry. Feed the nails in and then and then pull the clip down. Like that. Just release it and then push it back. And to release the nails, just press the button, the clip slides up, and the nails come out. So just a better design. Another difference for setting the depth of the nail. In the 350, you had to squeeze these two levers in and then move the the nose. It's quite difficult to do when I'm trying to film, but um, you know, there's not too much adjustment on there. I think there's like three different depths. I don't know if you can see. There's a marker there and you see the lines there. So it's like one, two and three. You can just move the depths. On the 360, it's slightly different. The 360, they've actually got the, you know, the turn, you know, far more adjustment there. Plus or minus. <clears throat> this is exactly like the, the DeWalt, same system as the DeWalt, which is good. Just turn it for, you know, less depth, push it the other way, you know, for getting deeper, deeper sunk nails. Right, another major difference is if you get a nail, a nail jam in the guns, the 350, you had to undo these two, these two Allen key bolts in there. So you'd have to get your Allen key, you know, undo them, break the gun, you know, and that would um, release the nail, push it back up, get the Allen key and tighten it back up. So it was a bit of faffing about really, um, but with the, the 360 is a, a huge design improvement. So with the 360, if you get a nail jam, all you do, this lever here, oops, <laughs> but you undo that lever and the magazine just falls straight out. Get it back in, just clip it back in, push it up. Get the clip. And that's it. So it's totally toolless. As a, again, just pull that, magazine comes out, clear your jam, magazine back, and clip it back in place. And that's a huge improvement. Just in this part of the gun here, you can see there's three brilliant features. Quick release, magazine jam, gas indicator, battery indicator. Just that section alone is fantastic. Right guys, well hopefully the video is of some use to you. Um, if you've got any opinions on the, the, the both the guns, please stick it in the comments. I'd be keen to, to hear your, your views. Uh, hopefully the video helped you out if you're thinking of purchasing any of these guns, especially the XI. Uh, but in my opinion, as I've hopefully I've pointed out, there's a, some better features on this one, which will make it a, you know, a better gun.
As always, guys, please give the video a like, please subscribe, uh, stick some comments down uh, on you know, either of these guns if you can. And as always, take it easy. All the best. Cheers. Thank you.